So let's get a perspective on this and Vishal Munga continues to be with us. Uh, he's been updating us and reporting all that's been happening there in Australia with the visit. Vishal, good morning. So, of course, it was a very serious joint statement, but there was also some lighter moments inviting him to India for the World Cup, saying this is a T20 mode. Do tell us, because from where you are standing, there another angle, that's where the Australian and Indian Prime Minister are also trying to show him around the city. <laughs> Yes, indeed. Uh, uh, it was a very important bilateral statement that was issued by the Indian Prime Minister and the Australian Prime Minister. Now, the focus was not only about the global issues, but also on the local issues which really affected the Indian diaspora. Now, the issue of uh, attacks on the Indian temples is a very important issue amongst the Indian diaspora uh, because uh, a petition was signed by the, uh, around 12, 1,200 people to, which was given to the Prime Minister about this issue of, on the attacks of the it on the Indian temples. That was raised during the bilateral trade, which is very important. Now, another important issue was basically opening up a consulate at Brisbane. This was a long pending demand which has been met. Then another important thing was about the migration. Now, this migration uh, pact has been signed between India and Australia, which is a very, very important uh, pending issue uh, between India and Australia because thousands of students on annual basis comes to migrate to Australia on student visa. So this whole framework has been made out where they will really now follow this framework which will make life easy for the students to come here to Australia. Now about the global issues, it was very focused and very important. Prime Minister Modi wanted Australia to transfer technology and Australian businesses to invest in India. That was the statement made by Prime Minister Modi. On the other hand, the Australian Prime Minister has also shown his focus. Now, Australian Prime Minister, if you talk about the Australian local politics, right now, Labour is in uh, power. But uh, it was the Liberal Party which initiated the whole process of bonding with India. India becoming a strategic partner to counter China. Quad was Correct. initiated during the Liberal uh, government period. Now, this Labour government has taken this a step forward which is a very good thing for the relationship between India and Australia. What happens from here uh, on, Vishal? What is the next step? Uh, what is going to be the part of the meetings after this, after this uh, uh, interactions and statement that we have seen? So after this statement, Prime Minister has a meeting with a, a group of uh, a businessmen here in Australia where he will really focus more on the trade and bilaterals between business to business so that uh, the the businessmen from Australia can invest into India and also share technology with India. After that, there is a uh, dinner at uh, Sydney Opera's house and then Prime Minister will leave back to India. So, as of now, the government-to-government -government contact has almost finished and okay. it is basically the private uh, businessmen whom the Prime Minister would meet and basically tell them to invite them and tell them that India is the destination to invest uh, they should move away from China, come and invest in mm. India because India has a large labor force and it could really provide them all the opportunities of growth.